I am Kokichi Sugihara of Meiji University, Japan. I decided to start this series of lectures on 3D optical illusion, hoping to entertain those who stay at home. This is my way of fight against coronavirus. Today's topic is light facing aloe. Here we have an aloe which is facing to the light. Let's rotate it by 180 degrees, then it faces to the left. It's natural. When we rotate it again, it faces to the light again. This is normal behavior of the light. And we have another aloe behind. Let's rotate it similarly. But we cannot make it facing to the left. It turns to the light again. Rotate, rotate. Always the aloe face to the light. This is an optical illusion of light facing aloe. Let's consider why this behavior, this visual effect happens. The object always facing to the light means that if we reflect the object in a mirror, then in the mirror the object is uh, allo facing to the left, like that. And, uh, we place a plain mirror vertically behind the object, and the direct view of the object is facing to the light, but in the mirror the allo faces to the left. And when, even if we rotate it by 180 degrees, the direct um, allo always to, facing to the light and the mirror image is facing always to the left. This is a typical behavior of the light facing allo. And let's consider why this happens. One of the trick is that the uh, top curve of this object is not a planar curve. It's a space curve. But from this angle, we feel that we are looking at the cut section of the cylinder by cutting it uh, with a plane perpendicular to the axis. But actually, it's a space curve. Sometimes it is up and sometimes it's down. And so, this kind of space curve, when we change our viewpoint, it's natural that the appearance changes. Let's explain this in more details using a simple example. Here we have a wire flame allo. It faces to the light, and when we rotate it, it faces to the left. It's natural. Rotate again, then we make it face to the light again. This wire flame allo is made in a plane. We have another wire flame allo. It's similar, it is also facing to the light, but when we rotate it, we cannot make it face to the left. It faces to the light again. The difference between these two wire flame structures is that the left one is a space curve instead of a planar curve. And so, if we change our viewpoint, the appearance change. 
uh, in a complicated way. But in the light arrow, when we rotate it, it to change its shape in an expected way. That is the difference between the planar um, figure and the space figure. So the next question is, uh, even if the left wire frame is a space curve, why we feel it's a planar curve? There are several reasons. The first reason is that you are looking at the image taken by a camera instead of looking at the object directly. The camera has only one lens center and so when we take a picture using the camera, it's just like to see the object by a single eye closing the other eye. I myself is looking at this object directly using two eyes. And because of the binocular stereo functions, I understand this is a space curve and it is not the arrow. It has some complicated structure. But you see this object by a single eye using a camera. And so you cannot understand the true depth. Just you see the appearances. And the left and right an object looks like an arrow similarly. And so you feel the left one is also an arrow. This is why first reason. And another reason is that uh, this object is a cylindrical shape and the height of this cylinder is the same wherever we measure it. The top shape is a, a space curve and the bottom curve is a parallel version of the top curve and so the height is the same wherever we measure it. And because of this nature, our brains feel that the top curve is a planar curve obtained by cutting the cylinder by the plane perpendicular to the axis of the cylinder. That seems an another reason why we feel this is a narrow. Using the same principle, we can make various objects that faces only to the light. This is another arrow made by straight lines. This also faces only to the light. Even if we rotate it, we cannot make it facing to the left. And if we reflect it in the mirror, the mirror image faces to the left, similarly. The behavior is the same as the first arrow. The next one is uh, fish. This time the fish faces to the left, and in the mirror it faces to the light. When we rotate it, we cannot change its direction, orientation. It always faces to the left. The next one is a bird. The bird faces to the left, but in the mirror it faces to the light. When we rotate it, we cannot change its direction. The next one is uh, arrow made vertically. The behavior is the same. It faces only to the light.
this is the 3D optical illusion called light facing arrow. I have shown this object, these objects through the camera, but to <coughs> in order to understand the shape more precisely, it's necessary to take it by hand directly and it's possible. This is a book published by Tokyo Shoseki Publisher and it contains four plastic models of 3D object including an arrow facing to the light. And if you see this, you can understand the actual shape more clearly. Now, finally, let's make one quiz. This is a uh, light facing arrow. When we place a vertical mirror behind the image, faces to the left. And the question is that if we place the mirror uh, to the light instead of behind, how the object is reflected? Uh, it is reflected like this. The arrow is facing to the light and its image is facing to the left. This is a natural behavior of the object in the mirror. So there's no mm, anomalous behaviors. Why? That is a quiz. Thank you very much.